Famous Edwards, here's the video of the inside of the unit itself. See your kitchen everywhere, your kitchen unit, I mean your kitchen area is A-OK. -okay. Um, show you the red light right here. That's just for your filter. We're going to need to go ahead and get that replaced. Um, but everything else you see here is in pretty good condition. Uh, no issues with your cabinets, countertops, anything of that nature. Uh, what I did recommend for the painter to do is to paint inside here. You can kind of see those scratches, blemishes along on the wall. I know it's a little dark, but I think you can see the discoloration in the wall here in your hallway closet. So I recommend to him take care of that. This large wall here in your living room is where uh, he said he had to paint this whole wall. And if you see right here, that area straight ahead, that's that black blemish that he's going to have to paint over that can't be wiped off, which is the reason he'll have to do the entire wall uh, all over again. Um, I don't know if she had something hanging from there and or not. Now, with regards to the scratches on the floor, here we are on the left side of your unit itself. Get the camera time to focus. These are the light scratches on the floor itself. And here are the two dark grooves right here, which as you can see, they were intentional. There was nothing here. At least in my opinion, they were intentional. There was nothing here. They just sort of started at one point and then you see they just curved right on over to the middle. So it's not as if something was ever here that she would have had to have moved. That just seems to be really intentional. And uh, Mr. Hodge from HHI mentioned that he cannot get those grooves out of the floor uh, because they're just too dark. Uh, over here on the right side of the unit, close to the bedroom, we have more of those light scratches. over here and this is what I'm saying we can attempt to buff out I just don't think that those scratches will actually come out those woods would have to be replaced and this is just what's close to the door itself uh, I'm sorry close to the sliding doors now I'm going to walk you into the bedroom Oh, before I do, this small wall right here, you see the discoloration from the top portion to the bottom portion. This is what we could not complete. Uh, we just weren't allowed to come back in here, I believe. Uh, the last time we tried to have the place painted. And same thing for up underneath here, underneath the bar area right here. Okay, all your uh, floorboards, down here on the bottom, will all be repainted throughout the whole home. Just so you can see that I'm not gonna pan around to the entire unit, but just so you know, those will all be repainted as well. Uh, here is the, the door itself. The damage done to the door is right here. I believe that's a custom door. Uh, according to Home Depot, Home Depot's largest Standard size door is 48 inches. This is 50 inches, approximately 51 inches. And so I'm gonna go downstairs and speak to the HOA and see if they actually have those in stock. Um, Home Depot actually quoted me approximately $200 for the replacement, which would be for the door, the glass, and this frame itself and everything else we would need. And I believe this top portion of it right here, which I'm tapping on right now would also be replaced. Not that we need it. I think it just comes with the unit itself. Um, here's the stains on the carpet. As you can see, the dark stains over here in the corner. There was some bleach dropped over here, which your favorite tenant claims she attempted to clean, but it only bleached one area. Hilarious to me. All righty, other than that, um, I think we were all aware of these 
of these uh, of these repairs. Other than that, everything else in here is in very good shape. Your bathroom is fine. Washer and dryer was working. I tested the washer and dryer out. That was fine. At least it was running. I had no problem running and I did not wash a load of clothes, but it was running as it should.